Welcome back. We have one more ending here with Carve's hangout event. We've tried different routes of him now. We tried fulfilling the client's wishes and we've seen him reflect on why exactly he became an architect. But in this one, we join Carve as he's being reflective once again in the pub. And we may see about him having a changing career here. So, how about looking into another career? A different career? I see. That's not a bad idea. I think I've heard a saying somewhere before. 80% of a working adult's woes are due to not having enough mora in the bank. It's just a saying, of course, but even I will admit that my life would be a lot better if I could make additional mora. And if I want to make Mora, I should finish that ridiculous commission. But I really can't find it in me to go back and talk to him right now. Hold on! I just remembered that I used to have a senior classmate by the name of Alkami. If memory serves me right, he's no longer taking private commissions, but he's still doing pretty well for himself. Maybe I'll be able to get some advice from him. Yeah, I should get on this right away. No more wine for me today. I'll grab the bill and be on my way. Okay, so... Port almost and look for El... Kame. Alkami? It's one of the two. Hmm, there or there, that's the question. I'll go with this one. It's nice to float down. It's lovely, it's lovely. Plus I can get these on the way. Some berries! Oh, my throat's going a bit dry. That's not good. I'll have to get myself a drink. It's rather warm in the UK again. So my throat gets especially dry this time of year, so I need loads of drinks. I should usually just have a glass of water next to me anyway. I usually do. It's just... I ran out of water at this point, yeah. so, you know. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I did that on your head. Apologies. Ah, Kave, it's you! It's been a while. What have you been up to recently? Yeah, it's been a long time, Alkami. Things haven't changed much for me. I'm still taking private commissions for all kinds of projects. I heard that you were the genius behind the Palace of Alcazarzare. <laughs> I bet you're all set for Mora after a project of that size. Uh, well, it's hard to make a profit from every project, you know. Hard to make a profit? <laughs> You've got to be joking. I've never met an architect who didn't make a profit from a project. Unless the client fled before they paid the commission fee in full. But that doesn't sound right either. Doesn't Dory have a pretty decent reputation in our local business circles? I don't think she's ever been involved in any kind of big scandal. Oh, are you going to tell him Carve or not? Well, uh, about that. Um, I mean, it was complicated. I understand. Either way, doing one project after another sure gets exhausting over the years, huh? <laughs> I've been there, so I can feel your pain. I mean, I obviously never had your reputation to live up to. That must have been stressful. But I'm sure we faced all the same problems. Trying to keep your client in a good mood while you're trying to stop them from micromanaging things they don't know the first thing about. <laughs> uh, I don't miss it. Thankfully, that's all behind me now. Oh, really? Uh, what did you do? Did you start a new career, or...? Hmm, well, not exactly. My work is still closely related to architecture. Judging from the look on your face, you're still strapped for Mora. That's quite unfortunate. You're the most artistically gifted graduate the Kasharawar Darshan has seen in decades. But it looks like you still have a lot to learn in terms of making Mora. With that said, us Kasharawar grads should still look out for each other. <laughs> What if I told you about an idea that'll absolve you of all your Mora troubles going forward? Are you serious? But something like that has got to be some kind of top-level business secret. Are you sure you can just share something like that with me? 
Besides, I don't want to just take something like that without offering anything in return. I still have a little Mora. Or is there something that I can help you with? <laughs> oh, you're too kind. This is just a simple tip. Even if I didn't bring it up, I'm sure you'd hear it from the others sooner or later. The idea is this. I recently opened up a training center with the goal of educating people in architecture design. Oh, you know, that could fit Carve quite well, couldn't it? He could be a teacher, an educator. Yeah, that does feel, after after everything else we've seen, like, that does feel correct. Compared to the classes taught by those old fossils at the academia, my classes are more condensed and streamlined and will allow people to quickly get their foot in the door. Unlike the academia, I won't turn down anyone who's interested. Rich or poor. As long as someone wishes to learn more about architecture, I'll accept them into my training center. It just so happens that I'm still looking for a few more instructors. So, what do you say? Interested in coming over to give a few lectures? Regardless of the pay, I can already guarantee that it'll be far more comfortable than working on random people's private commissions. Ah, so you want me to join you as an instructor? Hmm, that does sound like something I'd be able to do. It sounds like a pretty stable job, too. I honestly feel like it's something you'd enjoy as well. What do you think, Traveler? I, yeah, I, I think you can give it a go. Then it's a deal? Yes, it's a deal. Thank you, Alkami. <laughs> like I said, there's no need to thank me for this. The lecture room is not far from here, so you can just come straight here tomorrow morning. As for the pay, how about we start at uh, 300,000 more per lecture? 300,000? Are you serious? How could you offer so much? <laughs> it would seem that you're still oblivious to your own economic worth. 300,000 is nothing compared to the prestige of having the light of Kasharawar as one of my instructors. 300,000 is also just the base rate. Just uh, trust me on this. The longer you stick with me, the more you'll come to understand your true value in the market. I have to go make some preparations now. See you tomorrow. I was never particularly close with Alkami when we were in school. Who would have thought that he'd be so nice and friendly? I've hosted free lectures before, but this would be my first time being hired to lecture for a formal business. 300,000 mora per lecture. Whew. I'm so excited that I'm starting to get nervous. You'll be able to pay off your debts in no time at that rate. I'll join you for the lecture. Thanks so much. <sighs> I think I will be able to relax a bit more with a friend in the audience. Now, what should I talk about tomorrow? Some lessons I've learned over the past few years? Hmm, I should probably save those for later. For my first lecture, I should start by getting them more interested in the field. All right, let's meet here again tomorrow morning. I should hurry home and create some kind of lesson plan. If I'm going to become an instructor, I should make sure I show up prepared. Oh, indubitably. Wait until after 7 the following day. What if we turn up late? What if I arrive at like 9? Oh no! But it's not even that long the following day, so it's like we've got that whole day to go through. And then back round. Okay. There we go. Just after 7. I could do more of the countdown thing, like da 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 boom. I want you know that thing. What the rest of the harbingers are up to, plotting and scheming on an ever grander scale. Uh, oh, I didn't expect you two to get here so early. I was up last night preparing for the lecture, but I ended up getting so excited that I couldn't fall asleep. Here, I've prepared a lesson plan. Do you want to take a look? Lesson plan. Huh. Ah, I must commend you for your dedication. But the training center has already developed its own set of teaching materials. Instead of using your own plan, you can just use what we have here. 
Of course, you're always welcome to work in some of your own content to add some fun and flavor. I mean, can I take a look at the materials? Sure. Be my guest. The materials cover a variety of architectural knowledge. At first glance, nothing appears to be amiss. It's almost time for the lecture to start. Feel free to head in and start the class whenever you're ready. Huh. So you've already developed your own set of teaching materials. Seems like I won't need the stuff I've prepared after all. <laughs> anyway, shouldn't be a problem. I'll just go ahead and use your materials. There's something else I want to ask, though. This isn't going to be a large class, is it? Ah, no need to stress. There are only 20 people in this class. There are 14 classes at my training center. Out of all of them, the first class has the best grades, so I've directed them to you. We'll see how well they take to your lectures. 20 people, huh? All right, I think I can handle that. Oh, and uh, one last thing. In the interest of keeping a quiet learning space, only instructors and students are allowed in the classroom when class is in session. I'm sorry to say this, but your friend will have to wait outside while you teach the class. Ah, uh, it's okay. I was thinking about taking a walk anyway. Ah, uh, sorry about that. I'll meet you at the door when the class is over, then. Is Al Kami really as nice as he seems? I should probably ask around a bit. I'm getting suspicious. Apparently. Could just recognize the worth of... Carve, eh? But all right. Hey there. Can I help you? Do you know a man by the name of Alkami? Oh, Alkami? You mean that rich guy who's been making quite the name for himself? Yeah, he commissioned a set of furniture from me a while back. Paid a great deal of mora for it, too. I heard he earned a fortune working as a renowned architect. Now he's opened a training center so others can follow in his footsteps. Uh, if the tuition wasn't sky high, I'd enroll my child in a heartbeat. Architecture really sounds like a lucrative profession. It can be. It kind of also depends on your personality, I feel. That's what I've learned across these endings. Um, I do. Did you hear? Alkami recruited Kaveh to be an instructor. <laughs> I bet that'll boost his enrollment numbers. Really makes you jealous, eh? If you think about it, Alkami was never that talented himself as an architect. If we're just talking about professional skill, no one would pay for a class with him. That's true, but you've got to admit, his advertisements are really effective. After all, the academia only admits those that can pass its entrance exam. So only a few people could hope to study architecture in the halls of the Kashar War. For those who can't pass the exam, or who just want to jump straight into the industry, the training center is the best bang for the mora. Man, to have that kind of business acumen. There's definitely more going on here. Before long, Carve's class is over. All right, everyone. There's no need to be nervous. Class is over, so we can just chat for a bit. I shouldn't have lost my temper during the lecture. Did I scare anybody? No, you weren't scary at all, Mr. Kave. We were just a bit lost and uh, didn't get what you were talking about. Oof. Did something happen, Kave? Oh, don't get me started. I was trying to use Alkami's materials, so I flipped through some pages and gave them a closer look. The more I read, the more upset I became. Alkami may fool an amateur, but he can't fool anyone who's active in our profession. The materials he made are completely useless for teaching real architecture. That uh, is strange, isn't it? But uh, why do you say that? In my opinion, the most important skill of an architect is their ability to craft a design. In other words, they must be able to conceptualize ideas. There are tens of thousands of buildings in the world, as well as a countless number of architectural styles. Some designs emphasize aesthetics, while others prioritize practicality. 
The architects who can critically evaluate the quality and fit of different designs are those who can come up with great designs of their own. But you won't get any of that from the teaching materials they're using here. All these students are doing in class is rote memorization of existing designs. They are learning nothing about the underlying principles. How can they expect to become real architects? When they're done with this class, all they'll become are dilettantes with a pitiful smattering of architectural knowledge. B but Mr. Kaveh, we didn't really understand anything you said after you threw away the materials either. What's the big deal anyway? It's not like we're looking to make some works of art. We just want to make some Mora. You're studying architecture to make Mora? Yeah! Why else would we be studying here? My biggest dream is to become someone like Mr. Alkami. Once I finally make my fortune in architecture, I'll be able to buy anything I like! Huh. <laughs> in that case, I'm afraid you'll probably be disappointed. The reality is that the work of an architect is very difficult, and the pay is not lucrative at all. Believe me, I'm a perfect example. Yeah, but you're only one person. You need several examples to pull from. Uh, but how? Mr. Alkami just told us last night that you made a killing by building the Palace of Alcazarzare. He also said that as long as we graduate from his class, waves upon waves of people will reach out to us with private commissions, and we can just sit back and wait for Mora to fill up our pockets. It won't be long before I can put these miserable days behind me. Come on. And you all believed everything he said? But Mr. Alkami is really rich, isn't he? You... <clears throat> it's pointless trying to argue this with you right now. You've already filled your heads with pipe dreams. Let's go, Traveler. Let's hear about Alkami's true plans from the man himself. Indeed, let's go have a word with him. Where is he? Where have you gone? Where are you? Oh, there you are. What's wrong, Kave? You look quite flustered. Did one of my students offend you? Were the students not astute enough for your liking? I must implore you to go a bit easier on them. After all, they're nothing like the genius scholars you're used to dealing with at the Academia. We don't need to strive for perfect understanding. As long as some knowledge has been passed on, that's good enough. Yeah, I'm mad at them. But I'm even more upset that you're scamming people under the guise of teaching them about architecture. The students are all here hoping for a quick way to make money. But we both know that an architect's life is hard and exhausting. Just a little while ago, I was toiling over the sixth draft of a design for a client. If your client is unhappy, you can't break ground, and the longer a project goes, the longer it takes for you to get paid in full. What's worse, if your client disappears in the middle of a project, good luck getting anything from them ever again! You know all of this just as well as I do. Why lie to them? <sighs> Luke, Kave. You may be the light of Kisharawar, but like I said, you still have a lot to learn about making Mora. You may deny it all you want, but it's a fact that in today's Sumeru, architecture is a terrible profession. Our clients care very little for the effort we pour into our designs. Instead of appreciating us, they spend all their time nitpicking details and demanding changes, often forcing all kinds of ridiculous ideas onto us. I suppose that's more or less true. Go on. This is interesting, knowing the outcome of the library route. Yeah. Why should we cling on to a profession that's difficult and unrewarding? If the field is dying, then a person who still wants to make a good living will just have to change their strategy. If it's near impossible to make money as an architect, then why not just establish a training center and train other people to become architects in our stead? Wait, how does that make any sense? Aren't you just leading them into the same trap? We are already stuck, my friend. The more people we can lead into this pit and stack as padding beneath our feet, the more comfortable our lives will be. Dude, 
So instead of making money from architecture, you're making your money from your students. Do you not see how despicable that is? That's right. Making money as an architect is a slow and agonizing process. In comparison, earning tuition from a training center is far easier. None of the students will ever know, however. In their eyes, all of my income was earned during my years as an architect. It's easy for them to fall for my promise. After all, everyone wants to live the dream of being the person who can spend millions without batting an eye. The more students I get, the more money I earn. And the more real that dream becomes. And then what? Once they graduate, they'll still find out the truth about architecture and struggle to stay afloat amid all the problems we already talked about. When that happens, your facade will pop like a soap bubble. No one will believe you anymore. Ah, but that's just one way to look at the problem. No two people have the same amount of talent. Even if they fail to strike gold in the future, you can't say that it's my fault and mine alone. Oh, and also, I never actually promised that they would achieve financial freedom as long as they become architects. All I did was nudge them towards that belief. I'm not even scared if they do come back and stir up trouble. My training center has all the required permits and certifications. Even the Dendro Archon herself couldn't find fault in any part of my business. You... How can you sleep at night knowing that you're doing all this? Tell me, is your heart carved out of brick and stone? I can't believe that I once saw you as a decent human being. I... I am beyond disappointed in you. Yes, Carve, yes, you tell him. And the same goes to you. How many years has it been since you graduated from the Academia? If you still can't accept something like this, do you just plan on keeping that worthless naivete of yours until the end of time? Only fools will see art as revered and sacred. In the end, art is just another business. Being successful at running a business is an art form in itself. I urge you to think about what I've said. Offloading your pain onto others is the only way a person can live comfortably in this world. As the light of the Ksharawa, you've accumulated plenty of fame and respect. It's high time that you use those resources to improve the circumstances of your own life. Think it over, Kave. I still believe our collaboration could be very fruitful. <sighs> hmm. What do you plan to do next? I'm so mad, I feel a headache coming on. There's nothing more I can say to him. I'll resign from my position as instructor. Understandable, but get some rest first before you make any new decisions, I feel. Y you, you need a break, mate. So you'll, um, give up the more? Of course. I'm sure you've realized that as long as I remained at the center, he would be able to use my name to advertise this place. Even if I just sit back and do nothing, others will be deceived and suffer because of me. He is right about one thing, though. These kinds of training centers are everywhere. And even if the Academia was to find out about it, it's unlikely that they would take any real action against it. The most that they could accuse him of is false advertising. And even that would be hard to prove. There's something strange about all this. Oh? Did you notice something else? Not everyone should be able to pay such exorbitant tuition fees. Yeah, you've got a point. The rate he gave me was 300,000 mora per lecture. That probably came out of the student's tuition. And who knows just how much he's been charging the students for attending his classes. So where is that money coming from? If you're gambling everything on making it rich as an architect, are you really going to have the mora to pay for that kind of tuition? We could try asking the students. Right. We should hurry. The students didn't believe a word I was telling them. They're still daydreaming about making millions. We're never going to get any information from them again if we let Alkami talk to them first. Let's move now before he's had the chance to react. Indubitably. Alright, so. 
There's Uzair. Oh, Mr. Kabe, what are you doing back here? Class finished a while ago, but you're still here. Why haven't you gone home? Uh, I wanted to stay for a little longer. I'm still thinking about everything you taught during the class. Even though a lot of it went right over my head, I still thought the houses you drew were really pretty. Of course they were. All the examples I drew were world-famous landmarks. Each one was the magnum opus of a celebrated architect. It's a good thing that you could recognize them for their beauty. The accumulation of knowledge is the first step to artistic expression. Instead of rote memorization, you should try to relate and to understand, and after that, try to resonate with the work. Resonate? Yes. When I first got into architecture, there were many things about it that I couldn't understand at all. I would find a building to be beautiful, but have no idea what made it so good. And for most people, just being able to admire a building is enough. To become a good architect, however, you must also learn to assess and appraise. Going from admiration to assessment will take a lot of time and specialized knowledge, and I'm afraid that some superficial speed training won't be enough to take you there. Just as I thought. <sighs> Becoming an architect won't be as easy as Mr. Alkami made it out to be, right? <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm not trying to crush your dreams. All I want to tell you is that an architect's life is not as carefree and easy as others may make it out to be. <sighs> I understand. Uh, thank you for telling me the truth, Mr. Kave. I think I'll still stay here for the time being, though, since my family still hasn't paid everything off. Hmm? Paid off what? Sorry. I can't say anything more. Mr. Okami made it very clear that anyone who talks about it will be kicked out of the class. So yeah, there is something going on there. We need that information. Don't listen to him. I am the most famous architect in Sumeru. If he kicks you out, then I'll just take you in instead. <sighs> really? Why would I pull your leg? I can see you have some talent. So as long as you get your fundamentals down, you should be able to pass the entrance exam and continue your studies at the Academia. Uh, the, then please keep this a secret for me, Mr. Kave. Uh, truth be told, my family is not very well off, so we couldn't really afford the tuition for this class. Mr. Alkami was the one who reached out to my parents he told them that he knew a merchant by the name of Bahar and that we could get a loan from him. He told all the students that once we graduate, people would come flocking to commission us for projects. If everything went well, we'd be able to pay off everything in just a few years, and all the more we make after that would be ours. How much did your family borrow from this merchant? Uh, I think it was several million mora. And what was the interest rate? Uh, I'm not really sure. My parents were the ones who signed the contract. All I know is that the stack of papers was as thick as a slab of rock. <sighs> Something doesn't feel right about all of this. Yeah, the whole thing is very, very sketchy. Yeah, I have a bad feeling too. Something about the whole thing feels dastardly familiar. We need to find that merchant to confirm. But if we were to confront him right now, there's no way he'd admit to anything. We can pretend to be potential customers. Good idea. Hey, tell me, do you know where we'd be able to find this merchant? We last saw him on the north shore of Port Ormos. Who knows if he's still in that area, though. Well, it'd still be worth taking a look. Architecture... No. The arts shouldn't be used as bait for a scam. We need to do something before the students' lives are ruined even further. Indeed. So, find out more information from the merchant. Let's head... Oh. I didn't expect it to be that close. Let's float on down. Should... Activate the Wayfinder around here as well. Does anybody actually use the Wayfinders? They are called the Wayfinders, aren't they? The boats. 
I haven't used one in ages. I don't think, anyway. From what I can remember. I feel like I have in a quest somewhere, but not just randomly out and about. This thing. Like, does, does anybody actually use these to go up and down the river? Wave Rider, that's it. Wavefinder. <laughs> you no can see how I made that connection. You know. But does anybody actually use them to go up and down the river? Just wondering. I mean, you could do, couldn't you? I might do at the end of this. We shall see. We shall see. At least once, you know. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen you guys before. Here for business. You're Fahar, right? Yes. May I ask who introduced you? Alkami. My friend here wants to enroll in his architecture class, but they're a bit short on money. Alkami told us you're the man to go to in this kind of situation. I mean, yeah, that's right. I'm really interested in architecture, yeah. Oh, sounds like his business is booming. How much do you need? Let me see. I'd say around three million mora. Oof, you call that a bit short on money? Anyway, since you're here because of Alkami, I can work things out for you. Make sure you sign the contract, though. Lots of people are borrowing money from me nowadays. What? Contract? Can we read it over? Ah, uh, here you go. Don't worry, there's nothing particularly unusual about it. All you need to do is pay back the loan in full within three years. And what if they won't be able to pay it back? What do you mean, won't be able to pay it back? Once you graduate from Alkami's place, you'll be making millions of more a year. Easy! At that point, paying this off will be a piece of cake. Uh-oh. And even if you were to run into some difficulties and need to delay the installments, it's no big deal. We're all reasonable people here. If you can't pay quickly, you can just pay it back over a longer period. All that would change is your interest rates would get a little higher. It's hard work running a business. If we're taking risks to supply you with Mora, it's only fair that you take on a bit of the financial risk as well. Anyway, there's no point in tying yourself in knots over the contract. With the way you're reading every single line, it's like you're worried you're about to get scammed out of your whole life savings. Why would I lie to you? Tons of students at Alkami's place have signed the contract. Aren't they all doing pretty well for themselves? Hmm. I just did some calculations in my head. When you say the interest will get a little higher, do you mean it'll get higher than 30%? Of course, the contract did a great job of trying to obfuscate that fact. It only listed the amount that you'll have to repay every day, which gives the false impression that the amount hasn't actually increased by all that much. If you actually do the math, however, it's clear that the amount you need to pay on interest alone will amount to hundreds of thousands of mora per year. Most people can't even make that much mora in a year. Your greed really knows no bounds. Even my creditor doesn't dare to raise rates that high. Once a family signed onto a scheme like this, there's no getting out. What are you trying to say, huh? We mean to put you in jail for your crimes. <sighs> I figured something was off when two well-dressed people came looking for a loan. Think you got the better of me? Too many people are sticking their noses where they don't belong these days. Luckily for me, though, this is a pretty secluded spot. Hey, come out and teach these guys a lesson! Ah, uh, Eremites. Hm, I've already fought off more than my fair share of them when I was working in the desert. There are only a few of them, so they shouldn't pose much of a threat. Marak, you're up! Following orders. We've already played around with Kave in the past, haven't we, so... We'll just stick with our normal group. To ashes! Shadow Raven, let night fall. There we go. <laughs> Who are you and what do you want? I don't think we've done anything to hurt or offend you. So why go this far to destroy my livelihood? Debt has the power to append your whole life. 
I know very well just how miserable living in debt can be. But my debts are the culmination of many different factors, and my interest rate is still somewhat reasonable. As long as I continue to work with my situation in mind, my debts will eventually be paid off. But these students are different. They have neither the mental preparation nor the financial resources to pay back a debt like this. You sold the dreams of becoming an architect to the students as bait, urging them to take on insurmountable amounts of debt to satisfy your greed. Ha! Everyone knows there's no such thing as a free lunch. It's their own fault for falling into the trap. And if we're going to talk about greed, aren't those students the ones who are blinded by it? They completely ignore the risk that's right there in front of them. That's no excuse for your actions. Ha! And here comes the silver tongue. Surely you use that to reel in the students as well. Even now, many of them are still hopelessly dreaming of striking gold after they graduate. People grow by learning from their mistakes. I hope this will be a valuable lesson to them. <sighs> Let's head back to the Academia and turn this guy over to the Matra. They should be able to link him with Alkami's business. You bring Fuck here to the Academia. Apparently. Sino? Didn't think I would run into you here. My vacation just ended not too long ago. So I'm going over some cases at the Academia. Who's this? You describe everything that's happened to Sino. I see. Charging an interest rate over 30% indeed constitutes a crime. As it is highly likely that Alkami is also benefiting from this scheme, the Matra will open an investigation on him as well. The training center will be closed until further notice. Any funds we manage to recover from the suspects will be returned to the students. It's unclear how much we'll be able to get back, however, given their extravagant spending. That should still be enough. Once the students realize the error of their ways, they won't fall so easily for such traps in the future. Anyway, thank you for your help. I hope this won't be too much trouble for you. I mean, at least we hope they won't fall for such things in the future. It's no trouble. Just another day at work. How did you two get tangled up in this anyway? Huh, well, Alchemy tried to hire Kave here as one of his instructors. That was a mistake on his part. Did you accept any mora from him? He promised to pay me 300,000 mora per lecture, but I resigned as soon as I finished the first session. I didn't take a single coin. Ah, that's good. Hmm? What do you mean, that's good? Would you have taken me into custody as well if I had actually accepted any mora? You would have been an accomplice. And they would have confiscated the money. I wouldn't have gone that far. But... Had he insisted that you were also an active participant in his schemes, under our rules, we would have been required to open an investigation on you as well. Either way, though, I believe you are innocent in all of this. Had you actually been alright with making money through less than noble means, your life wouldn't be the mess it currently is. Hey, what was that? What do you mean my life is a mess? That's so harsh. I mean, I get where he's coming from, but still. Um, <clears throat> never mind. Your life is fine. You're just messing with me now, aren't you? Let's get back to business. If Alkami's case can be successfully resolved, you'll be eligible for a monetary reward from the Academia. Don't forget to pick it up after the fact. Huh. I didn't even know there was such a thing. I never would have guessed. <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is that we didn't report Alkami because we thought we could make some more off of it. The reward will be given regardless of your personal motivations. It was implemented with the intent of encouraging people to supply tips to the Matra. Fine. Is there anything else? I want to go back to the training center one more time and talk to some of the kids. Sure, but you should wait until tomorrow. My subordinates will shut down the center today, and summon the students to gather information on the total amount of mora they've lost in the scam. The poor kids, though. Alright, 
then I'll stay out of their way. I can talk to the kids tomorrow. I have a few other things to take care of, so I'll be off for now. If you want to follow up on this case, just come find me again. Or ask one of the Matra. <sighs> that should finally be the end of that. Oh, who would have thought it would turn out like this? All I wanted was to find a new gig and earn some Mora. To think Alkami would sink this low, it still makes me really upset. Still, I think I feel a little better now than when you found me back at the tavern. Oh? How so? It's a little ironic, but you could say it's because I've realized that there are many circumstances in the world that are even worse than my own. Now that I've seen such things firsthand, I suppose I've earned a new sense of appreciation for my life. Oh, I see. You've gained a new perspective. Okay. How should I put it? I'm pretty stubborn when it comes to my profession, so I often argue with my clients. The arguments are usually extremely frustrating, and every once in a while I'd wonder if I only became an architect because fate wanted me to pay for some sins I'd committed in a previous life. Alkami's suggestion would have allowed me to quit my life as an architect and earn money solely from my reputation. But now that I've experienced that for myself, I can confidently say that I'd never want to do it again. And that's why he thinks you're too rigid when it comes to making more. Every scholar has their own sense of pride and a line that they don't like to cross. Of course, when faced with the vicissitudes of life, some will surrender these things to seek a more comfortable life. I can understand that. Just speaking for myself, though, I don't think that's something I'd ever be able to do. The voice in my heart would just keep repeating one thing. The moment I turn away from my dreams would be the moment my career ends. If I stop devoting everything to my creative activities, I'd be able to lead a more comfortable life. But at the same time, my sense of intuition and understanding for the arts would also begin to degrade. At that point, any materialistic ease I may have gained in life would just become another form of torment. In comparison, my current life comes with its share of difficulties, but at least I'd never have to deal with that kind of existential reckoning. Existential reckoning. Well, I can understand your point of view, and it is good to stay true to yourself. But it just shows again how nice a character this guy is. I really, really do like him. <laughs> I appreciate it. You may call me conceited for this, but I would also like to think I'm talented enough to be able to lead a decent life without compromising my pride. It's certainly not easy, but I want to keep at it. My thanks again for being such a great help throughout all of this. I'm planning to pay another visit to those kids tomorrow. Want to come with me? I suppose, yeah. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow then. Get some good rest. I will wait until 8 tomorrow, oh, well just after 8, that was lucky, it's almost tomorrow so we can actually only do that and that should be enough, oh, bang on 8, there we go, just wait a minute or so, there we go, right, so let's head on over and see how the kids are doing now, hopefully they're still in high spirits. Hopefully. Down there, then. Oh, there's a chest there, just out in the open. I am assuming, like, no one will disturb me and I'll be able to get that immediately. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Yep, 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 yep. I ain't got time for you. Got places to be! People to see! Alright, down we go. Yeah. Hi, guys! I never would have guessed Mr. Okami was a scammer. The training center has been shut down, and the Madra have promised to return some of our tuition. But we've already spent so much time on this class. What should we do next? Mr. Kave said we can keep working on our fundamentals and try to get into the academia. Ha! <laughs> easier said than done. If it was easier to get into the academia, none of us would have signed up for the class in the first place. Only the best of the best can get into the academia studying on their own. Uh, Mr. Kave might be willing to teach us. Why? What reason does he have to stick around? Because he's a nice guy. <clears throat> so, you're the only ones that showed up today, huh? Huh? Kave!
Kaveh's here. Now, that's Mr. Kaveh to you. I'm here as your instructor, so let's keep things a little more proper. I'll keep instructing you for a while longer. You can pass on the message to the other students. As long as someone wants to come, they can join the class. Oh, also, I'm usually pretty busy, so I'll only be able to teach architecture fundamentals on my days off. Another disclaimer, I can't promise that you'll all be able to understand everything I'm going to teach. At least you're willing to try to teach them, though. That's what's important here. Well done, Kaveh. Architecture is not an easy profession. Aesthetics aside, even the basics of safe design can already be a handful for most people. If you want to design safe buildings, you'll have to go through a systematic study of structural engineering. And just as a heads up, all of this will be a huge step up from the superficial stuff you were learning before. You'll take both talent and perseverance to get through the course. I don't want to hear anyone say that I didn't warn you. We'll try our best. <laughs> it seems some of you are really serious about this after all. All right, everyone, pack your stuff up. No need to prepare much for today's class. We're going to go on a quick field trip. Where to? You'll know once we get there. Come on, let's get going. We'll be off once everyone's grabbed their pencils and sketch pads. Where's he taking us? On a carve to the destination. Huh. Can I teleport to that? I want to teleport to that. I want to take the boat. I'll take the boat. I said I was going to do it at some point. I feel like now would be good. We'll take the boat there. We'll head on down through port almost. Oh, is it going to be the drawing, the place that he drew when he was a kid that we learnt in one of the other routes? I'd say it's a nice callback, but it requires you knowing that. That's the only thing there. Like, you would already have to know that route. Carve would know about that, though, so it still makes sense. It's just from a emotional sort of level. You wouldn't know unless you did the other route first. Maybe you'd have a different experience doing it the other way, though. That'd be interesting. Like, you come to that picture after doing all this, you then suddenly have that understanding of why we came here during this bit. Huh. Yeah. Both ways work. Both ways work. Different experiences. You know, that sort of thing. I'm always one for the different experiences and seeing how things differ as a result. Makes it more fun. Makes it more fun. I like this, though. Again, speaking of different experiences, like I've never been down here in a boat. Never done that, so. Just a fun little trip, wasn't it? A fun little trip. So, whereabouts are we, Garve? Need to park my boat at some point. Whereabouts are you? There's where we need to be. Just park up. Yeah, that building. This lighthouse has been around for a long time, and I handled its renovations when I first graduated from the Academia. The point of today is not so much about the lighthouse as a building, however. I just want you to take a look at it and do a bit of self-reflection. If you were tasked today with designing a building, how would you want it to look like? Don't think about how you'd actually go about building it for now. Just put your ideas to paper and draw the prettiest building that comes to your mind. So, it can be, uh, any kind of building? Yep, as long as you think it'd look good. It doesn't even necessarily have to be a building. If you want, you can draw trees, the ocean, or even a garden area. Draw whatever you'd like. I don't like this question, but I've got to ask it. What is the point of this exercise? In my experience, it's best to approach the study of architecture from a point of personal interest rather than for the sake of a career. Both the study and practice of architectural design are extremely difficult. A person who's forced to work on projects that they don't resonate with will only struggle and suffer. So at least for today, I hope the students will be able to create something that they enjoy. There's no need to think about it too hard. They'll have plenty of time in the future to revisit the design and make changes. What do you think? Want to try your hand at it as well? Don't forget that this is a free class from Mr. Kaveh, the Light of the Kisharwar. 
On a normal day, this would cost you 300,000 mora. I mean, I give it a go. <laughs> it's like, that's not a building, you drew a teapot. Like, well, I tried. First class. Your ideal building is also your safe haven. Oh, because it's the teapot. Of course, that actually makes sense. I like that. I like that. Still probably not my favorite ending of the bunch, though. I still feel like the first ending where we actually had a resolution to the designs for his client was the best ending. I still feel like that was the best of the bunch. I mean, they're all good endings. It's just that's the one that resonated with me the most, I feel. Yeah, yeah. So, that's us going to be done with Genshin Impact. Until <laughs> something else comes up. It's like, we have to wait for a patch, we have to wait for an update, an event. Just got to wait, just got to wait at this point, haven't we? There may be Honkai Star Rail before we come back to Genshin. One thing there will definitely be, though, is Honkai Impact. Because that will be coming out... Probably the same day as this yeah. part, I imagine, unless, again, something comes up that I'm not aware of at this point, but I imagine it will do. We'll probably be doing that until another game comes our way that we're all looking forward to. Oh, yes, indeed. So anyway, we'll see you in the future, wherever, whenever. Sada for now.